Okay, um, in between programs, and this is shit. Right, uh, <laughs> uh, sorry about that, but the uh, fucking battery was flat, it started fucking flashing. So I've uh, plugged it into the mains now. Yeah, this is a, uh, a tale of one of my paranormal experiences. Um, and it's a vlog, so there's going to be some fruity fucking language. And yes, I'm having a drink. Nice cold one. Yeah, um, I was uh, it's going back. When would, would it be now? <sighs> fucking hell. Um, 80, what the fuck? Oh, it's late 80s. Um, uh, about 86, something like that. Uh, renovation work in Capel Lawn Swan in Denby. Um, you know. Uh, doing it for the council we were. Um, there was two painters, a plasterer, a chippy and me, which I was just a general labourer and general renovation work and I was there for a year and when I first started there I was always arriving early. We used to start about eight o'clock in the morning I used to get there fucking hell about a quarter to ten to eight, whatever, and I'd always be sitting outside on the step. I used to go down like, well, Lawn Swan in off uh, Vale Street in Denby, and then you got Capel Lawn Swan. Um, you used to have like a fucking little alleyway. I used to go down to it, to, well, to where we used to work, not the main entrance um, to the you know, Lawn Swan itself. And I always used to be there early. I used to be the fucking early bird. And uh, I used to be sitting on the step and the foreman, um, he saw us arrive there, he was the plasterer. And he's fucking hell, what are you doing here? Are you always early and all that? So, in, and majority of the times, they were fucking late and, you know, whatever. So, uh, they, he, uh, he gave me the keys to the place, to the fucking front door. Um, he used to say you're always fucking here you can have the keys open up you know for the lads like as I say two two painters a chippy uh, carpenter or fucking joiner or whatever and a plasterer plasterer was the foreman and there was me and uh, we used to go down this little alley just around the corner and there'd be a door in front of you and I had the key to that door you just open the door and you go straight into this little room well, not little, well, it was little, I suppose. Like a 10 foot by 10 foot, something like that. And it was, you know, for the, the chapel and Lawn Swan or whatever. Um, there was a little, little cooker there. Kettle, electric, you know, it was a little fucking place you could have a, you know, you could cook something or have a fucking boil of water for the tea or whatever. And yeah, you know, like I say, one morning I opened up. I don't know if you, it's fucking light. Shut that a bit in. I don't know, you may get some fucking orbs and things, I don't know, anyway. Um, yeah, um, like I say, I opened up. Um, I was always, always the first there. So I opened up and I just put the door, you know, just closed the door. The door was unlocked. Um, got the kettle ready. First thing we used to do is have a fucking brew, <laughs> you know. Um, before we started work, like we were renovating the place, renovating the main hall ceiling, and, and we um, we stripped the floor. Well, we stripped a lot of things actually. Not nothing to do with actual the Capel Lawn Swan itself. It's it's the next door. It's like a big fucking hall place next to it. Um, we 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 repainted the ceiling and we did the floor. Anyway, that's fucking immaterial. And uh, yeah. Got everything ready, put the kettle on, you know, not actually switched on, but put it, you know, filled it up or whatever. And like you do sometimes first thing in the morning, uh, you know, one requires the toilet facilities, shall we say. I'll try and make this fucking, you know, as clean as I can. But uh, 
I had a moment where I needed the bog. And just off this room, there was a little, well, actually the fucking door was missing. The door had been taken away and needed replacing so that it was open. He just walked through there and there was a row of toilets. There was three of them, but there was one which was in use, was fully serviceable, had a little fucking um, door, you know, the, the cubicle that you, you could lock yourself in type of thing. Um, and there was an outside bog as well, you know, which didn't bother us because there was no women there. It was all fucking blokes. So, you know, you just go for the fucking whatever. I'll try and keep it, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, I, I needed the uh, toilet facilities, shall I say, and it was a sit-down job. So for blokes, you know what that means, it was a number two. So anyway, sitting there, fucking probably reading the paper. I used to get a paper from the news agents as I was walking up Vale Street. News agents, not there now, but anyway. Anyway, sitting there, you know, reading whatever. And the door opened, I could hear the door opening, shh, door open, uh, footsteps, chairs moving, sliding out from under the table, as normal, as per normal. The kettle, ching, bang, ching, bing, could hear things, switches, I could hear the kettle, you know, as a kettle starting to boil or whatever. I said, oh, it's the fucking lads, they've arrived as per normal, you know, didn't think fuck all of it. Anyway, finished doing what I had to do, um, flushed the bog, of course, can't hear anything then, can hear drowned out all the sounds, you know, opened the cubicle, just what, it's only, what, six yards, something like that, walked down this little corridor into this room and there was no one there. It was absolutely empty. And I just stood there. The door, the, the way in, was shut. And I was just thinking, what the fucking hell have I just heard? And I was looking around. Nothing had been moved. The kettle was just how I left it. And it was silent. I was thinking, what the fuck's going on here? Next minute, chick -chick, the door opened. And the lads walked in, all right, so, so whatever, and she jing, like usual, they pulled out a few chairs, put the kettle on, and I was just standing there thinking, what the fuck? You know, I just, what have I just fucking heard, type of thing? And it wasn't for, you know, going on in my mind, what the fucking hell's going on? What's, what, what was I thinking, and this and that? And then, about a week later, suddenly dawned on me that as I was on the convenience shall we say and I heard the door open in and what I presumed was the lads coming in but no one spoke and at the time I didn't notice but no one I heard no voices I heard all the sounds but no voices and I would normally, that they'd come in, what you do last night, oh, get us a, oh, nip round, get us a, some fucking Golden Virginia, and get that fucking kettle on, and then they'd be bantering, like they normally do. Oh, the fucking Graham's here, he's opened the fucking door, he's early as usual, and they'd be talk, you know. But there wasn't, no, no one, there was no voices, which was fuck, I mean, fucking weird. But I heard exactly, you know, I heard the, ch -ch -ch the door opening, footsteps. I heard the kettle boiling, but no voices. And at the time, I didn't, you know, take any notice of it. But that, that freaked me out. But that, but that was when I was... I was fucking younger then, as I say, 86, you know, um, earlier, I was getting used to the uh, paranormal activities in Love Lane Garage, which I have covered in various videos, but now I'd, I'd be, you know, I'd be thinking, fucking hell yeah, it's paranormal, I, 
you get used to it to a certain extent you get used to it but that was very very strange very strange so yeah anyway Capel Lawn Swan in Denby very strange paranormal activity I experienced 